This is coming out of New York, the City University of New York, called CUNY. Um, their graduate center has forbidden addressing students or prospective students with the title of Mr. or Ms. or Mrs. Because as their interim provost, Louise Lenahan says, could be offensive, right? Could be offensive to call someone Mr. or Miss. From a, quoting from a memo here, effective spring 2015, the Graduate Center's policy is to eliminate the use of gendered salutations and references in correspondence to students, prospective students, and third parties. Accordingly, Mr. and Miss should be omitted from salutations. It says that it applies as broadly as possible, that it applies to all types of correspondences, such as all parts of any letter, including address and salutation, mailing labels, bills or invoices, and any other forms or reports. So I just want to stop there for a second. It says all parts of any letter, right? So if you're have a name in the body of the letter, you can't say Mr. So-and-so. You have to use their full name in the body of the letter also. This is just it's getting out of control. And I guess this is to accommodate transgender people is all I can really think. Because even if you're gay or lesbian, you're still a Mr. or a Miss. So it's really only if you look like a Mr. but think that you're a Miss or, or something. I, I don't know. I really don't understand this. I, it's just, I don't know what world we're living in. So the policy will ensure a respectful, welcoming, and gender-inclusive learning environment and accommodate properly the diverse population of current and prospective students. Now, Ari Cohen, who's a free speech lawyer for the Foundation of Individual Rights in Education, says this, <clears throat> It is difficult to find a principled reason while the perspectives of those who prefer traditional salutations should be valued less than the perspectives of those who favor their abandonment. And that is precisely why language policing is best avoided altogether. It always entails making distinctions based on subjective preferences for a particular viewpoint. And also in the memo, it doesn't say what to do if a student wishes to be addressed, Mr. or Miss. And we're seeing this all over the world right now in the, the New World Order countries, that free speech in general is being trampled on. You know, social media is being monitored by police for offensive comments. And you can't say this, you can't do that, because it could be offensive to somebody. Well, what about the people who are offended by this, by not being called Mr. or Miss? You know, you're in school and you're... The only way your, your instructor can address you in class is to use your full name or just yell out your last name. That seems wrong. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. And how do you address your professor? I mean, if you can't raise your hand and say, Mr. Smith, I have a question. Is that's, that's offensive. Oh, my God, you called me Mr. What? Get the hell out of my class. You know, there's... And it, it gets in the article, you know... Cross-culturally, some people in different cultures, it, again, it's offensive to not be referred to by Mr. or Miss. If you just say the person's name with no nothing attached to it, those, that, those cultures will get offended. And even myself, I don't really give a crap about anything like this. But I mean, if you're in a school setting or a business environment, something like that, it just seems rude to not use Mr. or Miss and just use the person's name with nothing. It just seems rude. So I could easily see getting offended by that. Or how other people will get offended by that. Because like I said, I really don't get offended by much. So again, this is just PC, New World Order crap being shoved down our throat. And they can't do it all at once. It has to be step by step. You know, little incremental bits. They get rid of a mister here and a miss there. And you can't say this and... Make sure that you don't do that one at a time. And before you know it, everything's gone. And the world is completely different. Culture and society is completely changed. And you socially engineer society one small change at a time. And it's hard to stop. It's hard. I mean, you, what are you going to you make your stand here on Mr. and Miss? No, probably not most people. But whatever, no big deal. 
and the next thing's, oh, whatever, no big deal. No big deal. But before you know it, the things add up, and it turns into a huge deal. And what they're using now is the offensive card. Oh, it's offensive. Don't do this. It's offensive. You can't say that. And people are like, oh, well, I don't want to offend anybody. Okay, sure, no problem. And I mean, don't misunderstand me. I'm not for offending people. You know, I think that if somebody is offended by being called Miss Johnson or whatever, she'll probably tell you, please don't call me that. I don't like being called Miss. Okay, fine. Case by case basis. But to just assume that every single person doesn't want to be called Mr. or Miss and to forbid the use of those terms because one or two people or even 10 or 20 people might be offended is ridiculous. You know, we're supposed to be individual people with individual thoughts and feelings. And what offends one person might not offend somebody else. But it seems the system doesn't really care about that. I don't, don't know if they ever really did. 